What up, Pro Guides family? I'm Matt, and you join me today on the final update of the Marvel Fortnite Nexus War season. Whether you've loved it or hated it, the Marvel season has brought some of the biggest superhero names into Fortnite. And at some point over the next two weeks, a massive battle against Galactus is set to begin. But for now, I'm here to break down everything that was added to the game. As per usual with Fortnite updates, Epic Games have given us a brief look at what we can expect over the course of the next couple of weeks. First up is the Venom Cup, which will actually be happening starting today. Venom will be able to be earned in this duo tournament as part of the Marvel Knockout Super Series. If you place high enough, you can get the Venom Outfit, We Are Venom Emote, Symbiote Slasher Pickaxe, and the Tendril Tote Back Bling, long before anyone else. Want some even better news? Each player gets two opportunities to win this time around. The Creative Hub is getting a bit of an upgrade. New matchmaking portals have been added to the hub with maps created by the community. The portals will be ranked according to the most popular and fastest growing creator made islands and will showcase genres like combat, variety games and practice matches. There's also going to be a new creative LTM which will cycle through a playlist of popular community made games where Conto rotates in regularly for new experiences every few days. Epic is bringing a bit of an odd change to the game this week. If you want, you'll actually be able to see your friends faces while you play together. Powered by House Party, a new video chat option will be enabled so that you can actually see your friends while you play. Last but not least, the second batch of XP extravaganza challenges will be arriving this week. The fight for reality is closing in fast, so you've got to get your squad together to take on the week's party-wide challenges and finish out your battle pass. Before we go into anything else, a quick look at the map reveals that once more, nothing has really changed on the Battle Royale Island. The only thing of note is the Stage 3 upgraded Battle Bus that has now appeared on the Heli Carrier starting area. It looks cool, but as far as map changes go, it's kinda disappointing. Either way, we'll likely use this Battle Bus in the upcoming event LTM. Another update means a bunch of new things added into the files. That of course includes a whole bunch of awesome new skins, back blings, harvesting tools and more. First up, let's go over all the new skins. We've got Backscatter, Ice Raider, Heartstopper, Cobb and Mincemeat. Oh, and of course, there's the Venom skin I mentioned earlier. As for the styles, both Caster and Elmira have a new dark theme. And while we're on the subject of leaked skins, a new encrypted skin called Galaxy Queen has been added, which is leading some members of the community to expect a Captain Marvel skin to arrive in the near future. Next up are the back blings. We've got the Heart Target, Shine Pack, Stir Baby, and of course the Venom Tendril Tote. As for new styles, there's a dark theme for both the Tome Pouch and Spellbinder. As for the harvesting tools, there's the Mash Mincers and the Six Carat Cutter, as well as Venom Symbiote Slasher. There is only one glider this time, and that is the delicious pie-shaped mash. As usual, we've got some wraps to wrap things up. There's the Halftone Hero, Deep Frost, Nebulaic, and Rainbow Fog. Currently, the only way to get the Rainbow Fog is to use the new House Party feature. Unless you're on Xbox, then Epic has got a little something different in mind. Now, as stated earlier in this video, today's patch is the very last update before the big end of season event that's likely going to be happening on the 27th or 28th of November. Since these things have already been talked about online today, I'm going to be going into spoiler territory. So if you don't want to be spoiled for the event at all, you can just skip this section. First and foremost, at some point during the next couple of weeks, Galactus is going to arrive and he is going to be hungry. Leakers have managed to uncover what the battle pass menu is going to look like when Galactus arrives on the map, and the answer is basically big and hungry. As usual with events these days, it seems like there's going to be a new LTM playlist for when the event actually arrives. This one is going to be called The Devourer of Worlds, and in it, we're going to be defending the island to save all reality. On the subject of the event, it seems like we might be in for another couple of days without Fortnite after the event happens if the files are anything to go by. One string in the game reads to be continued in season five, which implies we won't be able to immediately jump back into the game and might have to wait a little bit. 
Not only that, an old string was re-added to save the world that backs up the theory the game will be put on pause. A string that was last used for save the world when the black hole had eaten BR was recently placed back into the game. It reads, all hands, all hands. We're picking up some strange anomalies on the Battle Royale Island. Let's hunker down until this blows over, Ray. If the game does get shut down again, we don't know how long it will be for, but we can only hope it won't be for as long as it was last time. The final event leak is about after the event actually happens. You'll be given a congratulations message and you'll also be given an exclusive prize, though there's no telling what that prize actually is yet. Two weeks ago, I said that I hoped that this update would end up being a bit cooler, because come on, it's the last update of the season. But for the most part, it seems like everything that was added to the game was still basically just final preparation for the event. Luckily, that event is set to be the biggest one Fortnite has ever seen. I guess the next time I see you guys will be for the Season 5 update. Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you can be among the first to see it. See you later, Pro Guides fam!